happy Wednesday and welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I actually just got back from boot camp, got ready for the day, had the rest of my protein coffee. I always drink a little bit of my protein coffee before I work out because I need coffee to work out and then finish it when I get home. I'm hungry, so I wanna head into the kitchen and make some breakfast and then I have an update for you. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not know, but my husband has been in the hospital for just under a week. So when I sit down to have breakfast, I wanna share with you kind of what's going on and give you an update on that. But before we head into the kitchen, Kitchen, I want to share with you my outfit of the day. I know I'm going to get questions about this fun pink colored top. This is actually a two-piece set from Timu. Now, speaking of Timu, I put up a huge try-on haul video this last Sunday. I'll link that down below if you missed it. And I just picked up a few more pieces to take with me for plastic surgery. I leave in just over a week to go to plastic surgery, literally a week tomorrow before I fly out. And then Wednesday, a week from Wednesday is my actual surgery. So I did grab a few things to take with me. So I wanna share with you first my outfit of the day and then I'll tell you about the other pieces that I picked up for my trip and just to kind of add to my wardrobe for summer. So first my outfit, like I said, this is a two piece set. This is incredibly comfortable, a lot more comfortable than I thought that it was going to be. This is the Y2K Barbie Core two piece set. It is a whole $13.47. It comes in three different colors in sizes small through extra large. I have mine in the rose red, which in my opinion is a really fun Barbie bright pink. And I picked mine up in a size large. And like I said, it's very, very comfortable. I will say that you can see my bra strap. So you can see it's a little more of a halter style top. So in hindsight, I would have worn a strapless bra or a stick on bra or no bra at all once I have my plastic surgery, but it does is covered by my hair, so not a huge deal. And it does come with these cute kind of flowy shorts and a belt. Now the quality of this is really nice, like a rayon material. It's really, really nice quality. And like I said, super comfortable. In the entire set, shorts, top, and belt is $13.47. I also have a 30% off discount code. I'll put it right here for you for all new users of the Timu website. So you can get an extra 30% off. They do offer tons of different deals on their website. So there's a good possibility that even as a returning customer, you'll still get a discount, free shipping, free returns, and most of their items are $10 and under. So first is the outfit. I took these off so I could show these to you. These are the shoes that I paired with this outfit. Now these are actually made for the beach because they do have this kind of plastic base. It's actually really comfortable and a non-skid plastic bottom. So that sand will just come right off. You can get these wet. These are the solid color open toe cross strap anti-skid sandals. They're $7.07. They come in three colors in sizes five and a half through 10. I picked mine up in black in a size nine and a half. They fit me perfectly. And even though this is that little more plasticky type material, super, super comfortable for the beach or just for day-to-day -day wear. And then lastly for my outfit is my necklace and earrings, which is an entire set. I rave about Timu jewelry and this set is no exception. It's actually this long crystal pendant and these drop crystal earrings. This is the gorgeous crystal pendant set. The entire set, the entire set, necklace and earrings is $2.18, and it is really nice quality. Nice, heavy duty. The chain is really nice and thick. I did layer it with my necklace that has a picture of my dog that we lost on it. And I really like it. I especially love the earrings. They're very, very lightweight for as beautiful as they are. And again, $2.18. That basically makes my entire outfit less than $25. That's what I love about Timu. So that's my outfit of the day. And then let me show you some of the other pieces that I picked up. So from the coordinator of my plastic surgeon's office, she said, bring comfortable clothes. So I wanted to grab a pair of leggings and I wanted them to be a little bit oversized just to compensate for any swelling and really being uncomfortable after plastic surgery. So I grabbed the solid slim casual high waist yoga long length pants. I got them in a size large and they are $7.49. Now they are a bit oversized, but they're so comfortable and they're so soft. These would be great for lounging around the house, wearing to bed, or even wearing out and about. And I know when I do wash and dry them, they will shrink, but these are going to be a staple for me 
after surgery. And then I also wanted to bring a pair of shorts that were elastic weight and they waist and again a little bit oversized, something comfortable. I it is going to be warm weather when I'm there. So I grabbed these boho wide leg shorts. They do have an elastic waist with a functional drawstring. They come in two colors. I have mine in red. They are $11.49 and come in sizes small through extra large. And of course, I picked mine up in a size large. These are so comfortable. So, so comfortable. They're lightweight, they're flowy. And again, that whole elastic waist is just going to be extra comfortable. So I wanted a skirt. Again, something elastic waist, something flowy, something comfortable, something that's going to keep me nice and cool. And I have to say right off the bat, I'm obsessed with this skirt. It's so cute. This is the Boho Chic Swiss Dot Layered Skirt. It is $15.98 and comes in sizes small through extra large. And I picked mine up in a size large. It is so comfortable. It is so flowy. And what I love about it is it sits really nice on the body. Very, very figure flattering. Some of these skirts can be kind of poofy and not the most figure flattering, but this one is not only amazingly comfortable and adorable, but super, super flattering on the figure. I picked up a casual tank top as well. Something flowy, something comfortable, something soft. This is the casual sleeveless tank top for $7.17. Comes in six different colors. Sizes small through extra, extra large. Picked mine up in black in a size large. It is so comfortable. I love this tank top. I can see myself wearing this a lot. I originally, I was thinking that after my surgery, it could be a great workout tank, but I love it so much that it is just a day-to-day -day tank for me. And in fact, I'm going to go pick up some more colors because it does come in six colors for $7. And then I had to get these sandals. These are seriously the cutest sandals I've ever seen. And as soon as I saw them on the website, I had had have to have these. These are the pineapple beaded strap sandals. They have an anti-skid toe loop. They are $10.77 and they actually come in four different colors. I picked mine up in black in a size nine and a half and these are so comfortable and so cute. I can't get over the pineapple. Like I really, really love the pineapple and it just screams summer to me. So I had to grab these. I plan on taking these with me as well. And then last but not least, I thought I would show you the workout outfit actually that I wore to boot camp this morning. I should have taken a picture, but listen, it was 5 a.m. It was dark. But this is the outfit that I wore today. And this is actually a two-piece set. It comes with a sports bra and leggings. This is the striped two-piece workout set with a racerback crop sports bra and high waist leggings. The entire set, bra and leggings is $18.48. It comes in sizes small through extra large. I picked mine up in a size large and it fits me perfectly. The leggings are so comfortable and so flattering and they stayed up. They were squat proof. They didn't roll through my workout. We did burpees. We did mountain climbers. I ran. I did all sorts of core work and they stayed in place. And the sports bra, the sports bra is so comfortable. It helps a lot of my loose skin in, held kind of my floppy chest area in. I am amazed at the quality of this and how structured it is for a workout for less than $20 for the two piece set. I can't wait to wear this again. I think I may actually bring this with me on my trip. Again, comfort. Having a sports bra would be really easy to get on and off over binding and bandaging. So I love this. If it came in other colors, I would definitely buy more colors. So that is my outfit of the day and everything else I picked up from Timu to take with me for plastic surgery. So now I'm really, really hungry. Let's head into the kitchen for breakfast and an update on Troy. All right, let's make some breakfast. I'm going to do a pretty high protein breakfast, especially after my workout this morning. I really feel like I need a bit of protein. So I have some egg whites that I definitely want to use up. So I'm going to do six tablespoons, which is two servings, and that's going to give me a good base of egg whites. I also have one of the Gilbert's Caprese chicken sausages left. So I'm going to dice that up and kind of make like an egg scramble. I am going to pop in some baby spinach for some greens, and then I'm going to top it with a teeny bit of this reduced fat feta cheese, also trying to use that up. And then for a side, for some extra protein, I'm going to do half of a cup of my favorite cottage cheese with this good with which is good culture and top it with 
some blueberries. So let me put together breakfast. So here is my amazing breakfast. So I have my scramble. I ended up adding in a good handful of spinach and then 10 grams of reduced fat feta on top. I have 125 grams of cottage cheese. I was only gonna do 110 and then you know what, I put 125 on my plate. So we'll take the extra protein and 50 grams of blueberries. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. This is such a good high protein breakfast. The feta cheese just makes it. It adds that little bit of saltiness. It's really, really good. As promised, let me give you the update, the 411 on what's going on with Troy. I feel like we cannot catch a break. I mean, the last few months have been insane for us. First, Lola was diagnosed with lymphoma, with cancer. Then we lost Diesel, and now my husband, now Troy's in the hospital. So a couple of weeks ago, he started getting a little bit of pain in his elbow. And he said, maybe I overdid it throwing the ball to Palmer. I don't know what I did, but his elbow was giving him a little bit of trouble. And then it progressively started getting worse. It was very painful, very swollen. His elbow was like, at least three times its normal size. It was hot to the touch, it was red. He couldn't lift it, he couldn't bend like this and he also couldn't go like this. I mean, he really had very limited range of motion in his elbow. And like I said, it was just getting worse and worse. So we decided last Wednesday to take him to urgent care. So we went to urgent care and the doctor there was absolutely lovely and she was she was thinking potentially it could be gout related, but because he didn't have a lot of range of motion and it was hot to the touch, she thought it could be septic, a septic joint. So she immediately wanted him to go to the emergency room. So. We left the urgent care and I immediately drove him to the ER. Luckily, the hospital is literally five minutes away from us in our community. And he was in the ER until about 6 p.m. And this was about one that we dropped him off. They did x-rays, they did tests. Originally, the ER doctor thought that they would have to actually go in and drain his elbow. He assumed that there was some type of infection that was septic. And if for some reason it left the elbow area, it could travel to his bloodstream. And we know that sepsis and septic can actually kill you. It is very, very dangerous. Luckily, it was just isolated in his elbow area. So he went back and forth on whether or not he should drain it, reached out to the orthopedic doctor. Long story short, they decided not to drain his elbow, but admitted him into the hospital last Wednesday. The day you're seeing this video would be one week. Now I'm filming this video on Monday. He's still in the hospital. We are hoping, 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 hoping that he can go home today. When he was admitted into the hospital, it was a disaster. Like the whole hospital experience has not been a pleasant one, but we ended up getting a hold of the nurse, the charge nurse, because we weren't getting anywhere with anybody else. And she actually got the orthopedic doctor to Troy and saw Troy on Friday. So he, with the range of motion issue, with the swelling, it wasn't getting any better. He had been on IV antibiotics for seven, for a couple of days and nothing was touching the elbow, that he wanted to go in and do a some type of surgical procedure. I can't remember what it was called, but basically they go in and they puncture holes in his elbow. He is under sedation and they go in and they take x-rays and they look at the bone and they drain anything in the elbow. So on Friday, Troy had this procedure done to his elbow. So he was under anesthesia, he was actually in surgery for about three hours. So when they went in to drain it, on one side of his elbow, they found a lot of pus, which indicated an infection. And then on the other side of their elbow was a lot of other fluid. So what they ended up doing was draining everything out of the elbow, taking samples of both the pussy-like fluid and the other fluid and sent it off to a lab. And then basically what happens is these fluids sit there and grow for two to four days in the lab so that they can determine exactly what makes up these fluids, which is how they'll know what caused the infection in the elbow altogether, how bad is the infection, is there crystallization in the clear fluid? If there is, that indicates gout. So this fluid, these two samples, they have to sit for days. So Troy has to remain in the hospital while these cultures grow. So he's actually in a wrap and a sling and he has been since the procedure on Friday. Nothing really happened over the weekend. We, Like I said, we're hoping that the orthopedic doctor comes today, that the cultures are back and they know what's going on. The issue is they can't send him home until they know what the cultures say so they know what antibiotics to give him. So right now they're just giving him a broad spectrum antibiotic in the hospital. We're not sure that it's helping. It didn't help at all prior to the surgery. He did say that his elbows 
less swollen, but it's still kind of hot in red, which to me indicates an infection. But we'll see what the orthopedic surgeon says today. But I'm really hoping that it comes back and we know what was the cause and what we have to do to prevent it in the future and that he can come home with some type of oral antibiotic rather than just staying in the hospital on an IV antibiotic. The nurse did say that she could send him home with a broad spectrum oral antibiotic, but apparently insurance doesn't like it if you're in the hospital and then you go home and then you go back in the hospital for the same thing. It, it's a little less likely that they'll cover it, so it just made more sense for him just to stay there, which I think is better anyways, especially to manage his pain a little bit. That's what's been going on. So he's been in the hospital just under a week, and like I said, fingers crossed he can come home today. Lola actually has chemo tomorrow and I cannot leave Palmer by himself in our house. He's never been left alone without another dog. So I'm going to have to take him with me to chemo tomorrow if Troy's not home. All I have to say is that I'm glad that he's getting better. I'm worried about what caused it though. That's what's a little concerning to me. And is this going to happen again? And I'm also relieved that this is happening now, not before not right before or while I'm gone having surgery because that would have been very traumatic for him, very traumatic for the dog. So I'm grateful that it happened now. It's just been a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot the last couple of months and I feel really good that I've been able to continue to eat well. I continue to exercise. I'm trying to keep my spirits up. I'm continuing to be my healthy, happy self during all of this stress, which is just proof to me. I've done a good job of healing my relationship with food and not letting life happen derail my progress and my goals. So I feel good about that. But please, if you're the praying type or if you want to send good vibes our way that Troy fully recovers and that we actually get some answers. I've been sharing a lot of updates on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, come follow me there. That's really how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. Excuse me, Lola Clayton, what are you doing? Lola, you're the craziest. It's like 90 degrees out. It's 90 degrees. Good boy for dropping your ball. Are you ready? Ready? Oh, yeah! Hey, good job! <laughs> So I spent the morning kind of getting the house ready and prepared for Troy to come home. And I bought a new comforter and pillowcases. It is already in the 90s here in Arizona. And it gets hot, hot, hot. As you know, like 120 degrees in the summer. So I wanted to pick up a cooling comforter and some cooling pillowcases. I thought that that would be a nice change of pace for the warmer months. Plus our comforter was getting really peely and really kind of icky. So I went onto Amazon and bought a comforter and some pillowcases. The first thing is the Elgear Revolutionary Cooling Comforter. We have a king bed. So of course I got mine in the king size and I got mine in the color gray. They actually have multiple sizes of the comforter. It has cooling technology for ultimate comfort. It provides seven times the moisture, wicking, and breathability of regular comforter. So it allows you to cool throughout the hot months. And then the other side of the comforter is the side that you would use for the cooler months. So it's actually a comforter you can use year round. It does have that double-sided design featuring the Japanese Arc Chill cooling fabric. It also includes Jade Master Batch Skin Care, which actually gives you skincare benefits while you sleep. It is thin enough that you can throw it in your washer, but thick enough to add comfort to your bed. Super easy to care for. You can just, again, throw this into your washing machine and dry it as well. It is recommended if you have a laundry bag to throw it in there just to prevent it from tangling and getting damaged. It is extremely affordable and I actually have a discount for you as well and I will link that information down below. I also decided to pick up some pillowcases, again, all of the cooling vibes this summer. These are under $20. They come in multiple colors and sizes, standard, queen, and king. These also feature that same cooling material, that Japanese Q-Max Arc Chill Cooling Fibers. So they're perfect for all seasons, similar to the comforter. They are absolutely perfect for your hair and your skin. Like I said, it prevents getting bedhead, but it also is really good. The material is really great for helping to reduce facial wrinkles, dry and knotted hair, 
and of course, skincare benefits as well. I love the hidden zipper design. These pillowcases are very, very high quality, and the zipper design just makes it look a little more elevated, and the zipper, of course, is hidden as well. You're going to get a two-pack of the pillowcases. You can wash it by machine or by hand. They are wrinkle-free, super soft, very comfortable, and like I said, an excellent value. And I will, I will link the pillowcases down below with an extra discount for you as well. So I know Troy is going to be super excited to come home to the amazing cooling comforter and pillowcases. He is a hot sleeper. I'm kind of a hot sleeper because our dogs sleep with, the, sleep with us as well. So these are really going to be a get, big game changer as we move into the warmer months. And don't forget, everything will be linked down below, all the discount information and both items you can purchase right off of Amazon. Since I had a really high protein breakfast, I'm going to have a carbier snack. So I'm going to have a serving of these tortilla chips and I did make some homemade guac. I've been loving guac on pretty much everything. So I'm going to do a couple tablespoons of guac and a serving of these homemade chips for a morning snack. And this is also going to help me get in some healthy fat. I wanted to share with you guys my new favorite water infusion combination. This glass pitcher, I bought this off of Amazon. I love this. You can see that there is a wide opening and then a smaller hold opening which keeps all of the infused whatever you're putting in here from going into your water. I love to do lemon and lime water, but this has become my favorite. This is cucumber and mint. Oh my gosh, it's such a good combination. This is the 40 ounce pitcher, again, right off of Amazon. So I'll link this down below for you guys. I love this. So I'm actually going to refill my water. I have a coaching call. This is just so refreshing and perfect for summer. It also fits in the door of your refrigerator, which is another huge, huge bonus. It's time for lunch, 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 lunch. I'm so hungry. So I've been doing this little concoction for a couple days now and I'm really loving it. So we're gonna have it today. So I'm going to do half of a sandwich. I'm using one slice of the sprouted wheat multi-grain bread from Trader Joe's. I love this bread. It's 90 calories, but there is two grams of fiber and five grams of protein in one slice. And it's super, super good. And I'm basically going to make a sandwich. So I have light mayonnaise, a slice of the Sargento ultra thin cheddar cheese, and then I have the uncured turkey pastrami from Sam's Club. By the way, this is freaking delicious. It is so, so good. And it's pretty much the same macros as ground turkey. It's 60 calories for two ounces. And then I've been having a fruit of some sort and I have these strawberries that I want to eat up. Shocker to nobody that I'm gonna have cucumbers, but I'm also going to have some of these little baby teeny tiny sprinkled tomatoes to get in some veggies as well. So let me put together my little lunch and all right, so here's my lunch. So I have my half of a sandwich with a tablespoon of light mayo, one serving of the pastrami, one slice of the ultra thin cheese. I'm telling you, it's so good. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so good. And then I have a mixture of my little mini cucumbers and my little baby tomatoes, and then some strawberries. I did five full-size strawberries cut up. I'm so excited for this lunch. I'm telling you, this has been a go-to for me. I feel like it's a really good warm weather lunch. Are you mad that your sister's on the dog bed? <laughs> Lola, Lola, <laughs> your brother is mad you're on the dog bed. Did you get your ball? <gasps> Maybe we'll do that later. Oh, you guys are so cute. You're the most cutest. You're the best dogs in the world. Let's go get a special bun. Let's go. Yeah. They know special bone. These are their special bones. I showed these before, these smart bones with peanut butter. They love them. Can you sit? Oh, good boy, buddy. Good boy. Can you sit, Lola? Lola, sit. Sit. Good girl. There you go. 
All right, it is afternoon snack time and I'm going to have one of my Oikos triple zero yogurts. This is in strawberry and I literally have like the tiniest bit of granola left. This is the love crunch. I bet this isn't even 10 grams of granola and I want to put on like 15 or so grams. So I also have this better than provisions five nut grain free granola. I actually got this at a local farmer's market. My mother-in-law said it is amazing, amazing, amazing. So what I'm going to do is put on what I have of the love crunch top it to make 15 grams with this granola and then refill my granola container with the new granola. So here is my yogurt. This looks amazing. By the way, look at this granola. It is so chunky. It has like dried fruit. There's no grain actually. And again, this is the brand. I don't know, maybe you can buy this online. I have the pumpkin spice one. I'm really excited about it. I did taste test it at the farmer's market and it was amazing. So this is going to be my afternoon snack. Well, he's coming home. He finally called and the cultures did not grow. They thought that it was because he had taken some antibiotics prior to going in, prior to them doing the surgery and getting the cultures. So at this point, we still don't know what the cause of it was. We really don't know anything. So he spent two days at the hospital with the same results of the culture growing versus not growing. So they did, sub they did give him some antibiotics. So we're hoping that those actually work. Like I said, the good news is this hospital is five minutes from my house. So I am not mad about that at all. So I'm going to go grab him. I'm sure he is so excited to come home. I did not even tell Palmer that daddy was coming home because he would have freaked out. I'm so happy that he's coming home and that he's doing better. And hopefully these antibiotics work. There he is waiting for me to pick him up. I'm sure he is even more excited than I am to be coming home. For dinner tonight, we are making turkey sliders. The recipe says five ingredients, but there's actually six, but really simple, family-friendly recipe, super easy to make. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you'll need some little buns. So I'm using the Sweet Hawaiian Slider Rolls from Great Value. These actually have less calories than the King's Hawaiian. So I don't know about points, but they definitely have less calories. Some turkey deli meat. I'm using light Swiss cheese. This is one point per slice, which is great. And it's a big full slice of cheese. Some type of hearty mustard, light mayo, and some light butter. I've been on my spaceship counting stars since 94. Waiting for someone to come and knock on my door. Looking for someone who'd be the Venus to my Mars. Why does love always have to be this hard? Got me feeling like. All right, these amazing sliders are out of the oven. They smell so good. That mustard mayo combo with the sweetness of the rolls. Cannot wait. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. I think I'm going to have some more cucumbers and tomatoes. That was amazing with lunch. And I'll be back to show you dinner. All right, so here is my dinner. Okay, I couldn't be more excited for this. I feel like this is another one of those fresh recipes for the warmer months. I'm actually going to have two of the sliders and then of course some more cucumber and tomatoes, but this is going to be my dinner. So points, calories, macros are here on the screen for you. All right, it is the end of the night. It's about to get dark actually, so I'm going to have some dessert. I'm gonna do one of my favorite desserts. So I've actually been alternating between the Fairlife chocolate milk and Clean Simple Eats Protein and this concoction. So today I'm feeling like this concoction. So I do one serving of Fa A Greek yogurt, really any 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm going, you get anywhere between like 16 and 19 grams of protein. And then I mix in Clean Simple Eats Protein. I'm obsessed with Clean Simple Eats Protein. I'm obsessed with their greens. I'm obsessed with everything from the brand. This coconut cream right here is legit coconut cream pie when mixed with this. It has such good taste and texture. Their protein powders are seriously the best that I've ever had. They're 100 calories, 20 grams of protein, 
two points, I believe. They are so good. I mean, you can't beat them. I, I can't wait to place another order because there's other flavors I haven't tried yet. So I'm actually going to mix that in with my non-fat Greek yogurt. And then for some texture and to give it a little bit more of that coconut cream vibe, I'm doing half of a tablespoon of graham cracker crumbs, which I want to say is like 15 calories. It's really nothing. I don't even know if it's a point, but I'll put, of course, all the information here on the screen and I will link clean, simple eats down below for you with a discount. So let's make this coconut cream pie dessert. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food. Definitely, definitely check out Timu. I linked everything down below for you. And also I linked the cooling comforter and pillowcases. Everything's in the description box from today's video. So if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not, because I do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out that description box for everything I shared with you today, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things. And of course, come over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.